was there by faith, I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Hi, I'm Kachang Kevin. The gift of counsel enables us to judge individual acts as good and ought to be done, or as evil and ought to be avoided. The gift of counsel perfects the virtue of prudence, and it is the work of the Holy Spirit who speaks to our hearts and enlightens us about what to do. Jesus told his disciples, "When they hand you over, do not worry about how to speak or what to say." What you are to say will be given to you when the time comes, because it is not you who will be speaking; the spirit of your Father will be speaking in you. Matthew 10:19. Let us now listen to what Pope Francis, through an interpreter, had to say about the gift of counsel in his homily in 2014 on the Catechesis of the Gifts of the Holy Spirit. Following is a summary of the Holy Father's words this morning. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis on the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, we now turn to the gift of counsel. Through this gift, God enlightens our hearts and directs our thoughts, words, and actions in accordance with His saving will. By leading us to Jesus, and through Him to the Father, the Holy Spirit guides us in our daily interaction with others, and enables us to make right decisions in the light of faith. Through the gift of counsel, we also grow in the virtue of prudence, learning to overcome our self-centeredness, and to see all things with the eyes of Christ. The gift of counsel, like all spiritual gifts, needs to be cultivated through prayer, by which we become attuned to the voice of the Spirit and conform to the heart of Christ. Nor does this gift enrich us as individuals alone. The Spirit also counsels us through the lives and experiences of our brothers and sisters in the Church. Today, as we give thanks for the gift of counsel. Let us seek to support one another along the path of faith, as we seek to be ever more docile to the working of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Let us pray. Come, O Spirit of Counsel, help and guide me in all my ways, that I may always do Thy holy will. Incline my heart to that which is good. Turn it away from all that is evil. And direct me by the straight path of Thy commandments to that goal of eternal life for which I long. Amen. For more daily Lenten reflections, subscribe to our free daily nuggets at www.redeemforworship.com. This Lenten nugget is brought to you by Redeem for Worship. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. And the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Created using Powtoon.